Okay, we are drawing a picture of Abraham Lincoln made from simple lines and shapes. So we're going to start with the hat. Right here, we're going to make a rectangle. So rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. And then we're going to come out on each side for a longer, wider, skinnier rectangle. Out on each side, down a little bit, and then connect it across for the brim of the hat. Then we're going to make a circular shape or an oval shape for the face. Okay, then we're going to draw two eyes. And then a smaller circle inside each one. And then most of this will be black, but leave a little bit of white for the shiny part of the eyes. We're going to make kind of like a letter L capital letter L for the nose and then a smile and then the eyebrows are like little rectangles so they're both slanting and then they come up a little bit and then connect it across up a little bit connect it across. Okay, you're gonna um, make his ears a little circular shape on each side and then his beard you can draw circles going all along his chin from his ear down across his chin, all the way up to his other ear. You can draw a little neck, and then a little square for the bow tie. And then triangle for the other sides of the bow tie. So the triangle is pointing in, and then connect it up and down. And then the triangle is pointing in on the other side. And then connect that up and down. Okay, and then the front of his shirt is just gonna come down from the tie. And we're gonna give him some buttons on his shirt, some circles, and then come out on each side for his shoulders. All right, and then we're ready to color. So I actually have a peach crayon, which, or sorry, peach marker, which is nice. If you don't have a peach marker, because that doesn't come in the classic set of Crayola markers, you might want to use a peach crayon, or you might just want to leave the paper white. And the neck. And then his beard. When I color in each of the circles, then I don't see that line coming through for his chin, which is good. It gets covered up by the coloring. 
His eyebrows would also be black. And his hat. So sometimes when I color in, I sort of like to do like a inside lining of the shape. And that helps me to stay inside my lines better. Sometimes we can also color in line by line. And that also helps us to stay inside the lines as best we can. Okay, and then his jacket is also black. And if you leave a little bit of white here and there, that's really not a big deal. Because it could be a little bit of a shining spot, sort of like we do on the eyes. We leave a little bit of white. Okay, and then some red and blue for his buttons and his bow tie. And a little bit on his shirt. And good luck with yours.